I love her so much. Anyway, hello everybody, my name is Christian, and today, uh, this isn't a scripted video, we're not doing much gameplay actually. Instead, today, I want to take a quick stroll through my account and just kind of show you guys characters I have, what I got going on, and um, yeah, now everybody's going to be able to see how painfully, painfully, painfully unoptimal I am at this game. <laughs> It's been a long time since I've really shown any sort of gameplay of the game I play on my channel. I tend to do a lot of stuff involving friends, involving comparing characters, watching things, a bunch of stuff like that, you know? So I figured this would be a nice little change of pace, kind of show off a bit more of what's going on, and then... I don't know. Um... Oh, this should be, uh... I believe this is the setup for Argenti's quest, but that's not really what we're- Oh, Clara! Okay, well, I guess that's actually a good place to start as well, as I can also show you guys kind of the visitors I have unlocked, because I am notorious for not doing any companion quests. I just really don't. Does fly up in the sky. Thank you for bringing me along. God, she's just the cutest little th Oh, I love Clara so much. She's adorable. Alright, before we get into my characters, uh, let me show you guys my guest book real quick. Which should have every visitor I have unlocked. So, we have Silverwolf, Arlen, Asta, Branya, and Zila. We have Serval and Japard. Then we got Natasha, Pela, Clara. We have Lynx, Topaz and Numbi, Ron May. Hua Hua, Jing Yuan, and Misha, who I just unlocked to, <laughs> oh god, legitimately less than 24 hours ago, wow, huh. Alright, so now that we got that out of the way, now let me show you guys something actually interesting in what you're looking for. So, first of all, um, you might notice my Trailblaze level is still 60, um, and when you look at my experience, I can explain. <laughs> later but <laughs> all right now let's actually take a look at the characters i have and just i'll talk a little bit about who some of my favorites are even though that's pretty well known information because the characters i like and the characters i like to use are actually a little bit different so of course we have the trailblazer nothing fancy here his stats aren't really none of my stats are gonna be good and i need everybody watching to know that <laughs> For the Trailblazer, I do have crit rate body piece at 55, just because I wanted that and I felt like it was a good choice for him to kind of increase his damage output. I do still need to increase his crit damage, but everything's a work in progress. Alright, so now let's move on to... I of course have Gwenyphon, who I just absolutely love a lot. I put a decent amount into her. She's mostly built for break effect. And then... I have E6 Gwenyphon. I do not want to talk about how many I got from the initial banner she ran on. I was desperately trying to get the 5 star at the time. I actually don't even remember what 5 star she was with. All I know is that it was an absolute dub for me. Oh, I think it was Zila actually. Because didn't Zila and Topaz run at the same time? Probably. Alright, anyway, moving on. So we got Gwenyphon here. And then... We have Zila. Um, please don't look at my abysmal crit rate. <laughs> yeah, this is the five star I use the most that I am the least proud of. I don't even use Zila that much, but her build is still when I was learning to play the game. And I've never quite had time to fix it. Yeah, I'm not proud of this. <laughs> I have an attack body piece, two purples, 15 on the head piece for some reason, and then I have Rudolent Arena when the crit rate is at 13. And this one's a purple! Yeah, yeah, this... Mm. I've been too lazy to fix her, and at a certain point I will have to, because this is just not a good Zila. And <laughs> I know it isn't. <laughs> so next up, we have my most used healer. We have Bailu. So, Bailu was actually the very first 5-star I got in the game. She was who I got from the beginning warp. 
and I was unbelievably disappointed. <laughs> I don't really like using child characters, it's just kind of... eh. To be fair, I did not know that Bailu was not a child whenever I first got her, she just looks like one. But I wasn't too keen on the design, and then I got to Yurilo and I kinda had to use Bailu more. And Jesus Christ Almighty, I was fighting enemies 10 levels higher than me because I didn't level up, and I would still win because Bailu kept me alive. So yeah, Bailu has grown on me quite a bit, actually. And I'm kind of glued to using her because, uh, going over to Eidolons real quick. I have E2 Bailu. I don't know how this happened, but I have E2 Bailu. So, yeah... If I wasn't already stuck using her as my main support, uh, definitely am now. I have no desire to really pull for any others. I might do a Fushuan or a Luocha in the future, but it's just not. I prefer pulling damage characters, I'm gonna be honest. Speaking of damage characters, um, this is actually the most recent character I actually put my effort into building. We have Black Swan. So, I mainly run Nihility, because I got Kafka a while back. So I decided I was going to go out of my way to get Black Swan whenever she came out in the game. And boy oh boy, <laughs> does she really help Nihility teams. Her power is so, so strong it's not even funny. This is not even an optimal build still. She has speed boots but they're not even fully leveled up and the substats on almost all of these are mediocre at best. Like, I have a bunch of defense and HP. I at least have effect hit rate on this. Attack percent up is fine. The, I do want some defen per defense percent up, just because these characters can get really squishy. But then crit rate and HP. Moving on to hands, HP, attack, defense, and crit damage. When she's really not even an attacker, she's just meant to be a debuffer for me. And then wind damage boost with effect res, attack, defense, crit damage. And then my last piece here is our energy regeneration rate that I've still yet to max out. This is still not even an optimal build for Black Swan, but she does so much alongside Kafka and my other Nihility units. It is insane. So next up, we have Silver Wolf. You might notice, Silver Wolf has no light cone. And she has no relics. This story is coming up in a video that will be released in a while. But I'll tell it again here. So I was trying to get Hanya, the 4 star who released on the Argenti and Silver Wolf banner. In my mind, I thought I would have to burn maybe 20 wishes on Silver Wolf and Argenti. I wasn't too concerned. Because the character I wanted was I was saving up for Ron May at that point. That's who I was most excited about. Or was it Kafka? It was one of the two. Those are the characters I was most excited for. So I was saving up. Hanya took me over 70 pulls to get. To the point that in my attempt to get Hanya, I accidentally pulled Silver Wolf. And it messed up my pity as a result when I was guaranteed my next 5 star, so I was naturally terrified. <laughs> I got lucky, I still got my Kafka, I still have my Ron May, but this... this was horrifying. And now Silver Wolf just sits on my bench, because I actually just don't even use her that much. I'm not a big quantum person. I know that sounds ridiculous, but... eh. Just don't have teams for it. Next up, Kafka. I just really, really want her, and can you really blame me? <laughs> yeah, there's nothing special to my Kafka. She's built to do damage over time. She's built to do attack. That's it. God bless her. Next up, we have Welt. So talking a bit about Welt, he has slowly and surely become one of my more favorite characters. Whenever I initially got him, it was an accident because I lost the 50-50 on, on the Zila banner. So, despite losing that 50-50, I still managed to ultimately get Zila. So, without an imaginary character prior to that, I decided, okay, let me go out of my way to build Welt. I'm sure he'll be fairly good. And, right now, he's not bad by any means. 
but I actually don't like him the most for his gameplay despite what I've said previously. After learning about more Honkai Impact 3rd lore from all the generous commenters, he is just such a compelling and incredible character. And even now in Star Rail, he is one of the most interesting and cool characters in my opinion. I absolutely love Welt. So we're getting close to the four stars who I'm gonna go through very quickly, because I don't have as much to say about them compared to the five stars, but... Himiko and Ron May are actually linked together very well. As you can see, I don't really have my Himiko built. I have some relics placed. I have a light cone that's unleveled, and I have traces that are unleveled. But, why I connect to Ranmei and Himiko is, I believe I showed it off already, it was in the 25 things I love about Honkai Star Rail video. I got these two in the exact same 10 pull. I got Ron May when I had about 20 warps left, and in that same 10 pull, I got Himiko, who is one of my absolute favorite characters in this entire game. So I pulled them both at the same time, and then because I pulled Himiko, I technically lost my 50-50, so the next character I got was guaranteed, <laughs> which is hilarious. <laughs> Yeah, this game's awesome. Also, I've just recently built my Ron May a little bit. She's very interesting. I do want to use her more. She seems like she could be very, very fun. I just don't quite know what teams to use her on yet. I'm assuming with Jing Liu would be a good start, but uh, we'll, we'll work on it. Everybody hates Yan Ching. Poor guy. So Yan Ching was the first five star I pulled off of the standard banner, not the beginner warp. And I like him a lot. I enjoyed using him. As you can see, his stats have dipped below quite a bit. And it's because I just have no need for him anymore, which makes me really sad. I like him a lot. He has a good aesthetic. But he's a little outmatched. So here we have my Jing Liu, who is also horribly unoptimized. I still have to get her crit rate up, and I would like more crit damage as well. And lastly, I need a bit more speed. And by a bit more, I mean a lot more considering I don't even have speed boots on her. I like Jing Liu a lot. She's probably my primary... She's my primary attacker when I need a primary attacker. I know that sounds ridiculous, but... As someone who runs Nihility teams, I usually have Kafka as the center, and then I build around her. But then... When I need somebody who I need to be just the strong focal point, like I need a, I need somebody to get buffed by Ting Yun, Jing Liu is always the choice, and it's really never close. So now we're going to get into the four stars. I'm going to kind of rapid fire these a bit. So talking about links, I have E6 links. Happened completely by accident on one of the banners where links was available. I kept pulling, kept getting unlucky. I don't want to talk about it. But she is actually an above average healer for what I kind of needed her to do. She's not incredible, and I don't have her built very well, but she served her purpose in things like the Forgotten Hall. I do need to make her a bit better if I want to use her consistently, though. Next up, we have my March. My March is not very, very strong by any means. She is E6, however. And, yeah, that's a lot of defense. Arguably a bit too much defense. <laughs> um, yeah, I kind of need to switch around her build a bit, because... Originally, I just decided to max out her defense as much as humanly possible. Was that really the wisest choice? No. Is it very funny to see people not be able to hit me? Yes. <laughs> Next up is Sampo. I really hate him. I use him occasionally. I have E1 Sampo. I'm not gonna lie, Gwenaifen has basically completely replaced Sampo in my lineup in most cases, because now I will use Kafka, Black Swan, and Gwenaifen instead of Kafka... Gwenaifen, or Slash Sampo, and then two other characters. Yeah, he's just, he's, he's a dick. Anyway, next, Ting Yun, my absolute favorite character in the game. Nowhere near my favorite to use, though. <laughs> her attack stat is decent, it could be higher. Her defense is middling, so I do need to work on that at some point. This is also another character that I do have at E6. I should be using her more because she is genuinely so, so powerful, and I now understand why everybody uses her so much. 
That power boost goes absolutely insane. This is a character I do really enjoy, and I do need to work on a bit more. But next up, we have Asta. I used to use her a lot, not quite anymore. I do have E3 at least, so that's pretty good. But ever since I swapped to using primarily Nihility Team, she kind of got left behind a little bit. At some point in the future, I would like to rebuild her and make her better, so I could incorporate her into more lineups. Next up is Serval. In my attempt to just build Serval for pure attack damage, I accidentally got 38% crit rate and 88% crit damage. 38% crit rate feels like it hits every single time, and I'm not joking in the slightest. It feels like this girl has never missed a crit in her life. So yeah, I still really like using Serval a lot. She is unbelievable. Unfortunately, I only have E1 Serval. So, uh, yeah, I kind of need to pick up the pace on that one. So Shang is completely unbuilt. I do quite like her, so I at least got her to level 70. Is that a wise choice? Probably not, but I've done it. Don Hung. I have E1 Don Hung. He is technically kind of built. He has a lot of crit damage and middling crit rate. He's okay, but as I've mentioned, with my moving on to Nihility as my main form of damage in most cases, he unfortunately kind of got left in the dust. This was my attempt to build Natasha. As you can see, I gave up. <laughs> I'm just not a huge Natasha fan in terms of gameplay. I like her character a lot, and then she's very pretty as well, but just wasn't for me to actually use. Yep, don't like him. There will be a video coming out talking about four stars I've never enjoyed using, or have never tried to use. Luca's unfortunately in this list. I've never had any reason to use poor Luca. The crazy part is I have E4 Luca, <laughs> but it's just never come up, and it probably never will. <laughs> Maybe at some point, because I do need more physical damage, because the Trailblazer is my main physical attacker. That's not good. Next up is Pela. She is in the exact same boat as Luca. Not a huge fan, but oh well. Once again, E3 Pela. I don't know what I was doing, <laughs> but I skipped over her, and uh, it's a bit too late right now, so we'll come back to her someday. Next up is this son of a bitch. No E1. Shocker. I do quite like Hanya a lot, but my experience getting her has left a sour taste in my mouth, so uh, yeah, she's staying unused for a while. Yukong simply never came up at a good time. She was a bit too buried into the game for me to get, so she kind of just resides here now. I do like Yukong's character a lot, but with ratio above her and with welts, there's just not much reason for me to use her. Same thing applies to Xingxue. I have Zila, and even then, I don't really use Quantum much, so she kind of just stays in the back. I hate you. Zhui Yi, same thing. Never had a reason to use her despite me liking the character a lot. I used Hook for exactly two battles. Good job, Hook. I also have E6 Hook. <laughs> we have the beta male, of course. Poor guy. E2 Arlen. Never really had any reason to use him because I got Serval and I like Serval a lot more. Also, have you ever looked at this man's tier list place and placement? It's not great. And lastly, right at the end, we have Misha from Panacani. He's okay. I like the design at least, but Misha is definitely just not a character I fully intend on using at any point. So those are all the characters I have currently. I've obviously missed quite a few five stars, but you know, it's hard when you're not willing to pay. So after going through all my characters, that's mainly what I wanted to do and show everybody today is just kind of where the state of my account is, what characters I use the most, what characters I don't really use. It's all pretty simple stuff, but without really showing you guys my account for a very long time at this point, I thought it'd be an interesting thing to do just to get to catch up a bit and kind of see how I've evolved from the last LaFu video, which was, uh, <laughs> huh, yeah. I really pivoted entirely from gameplay videos, huh? <laughs> I might actually be doing another gameplay video in the future very soon, but for now, we're going to end off this recording. I really hope everybody enjoyed, and stay tuned for more Star Rail content. All right, bye-bye.